There we go, guys. Let's finally make the one and the only Ankylos looks. Uh, Apex Hybrid, one of the first actually. It's one of the first one and I think that we're gonna see more of those hybrids in the future. So let's fi finally make Ankylos looks. Here we go. We got a lovely 10. Just what I need. I don't care. Uh, I'm just happy that I made it. Okay. So let's create it. There we go. An Apex. Oh my god. He looks absolutely insane. He literally looks like uh, an alien from another planet we got the superior vulnerability which is a really powerful move hostile glow which is a new ability which also seems to be really powerful it it uh, makes the target vulnerable it puts up the shield really good it got the alert starting uh, uh, strike shielder strike that uh, also ankylomolo has one of those and a resilient shielded rampage and run which as the name suggests is basically a resilient rampage but it also switches you out and it also gives you a shield which is interesting that shield won't really help you if you switch out but i mean i guess if you get swap prevented then uh, you can use that shield it can benefit you shielded alert stand highest damage 33 percent blah 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 when it gets threatened, it has 100% chance to stun. Uh, interesting. Invisibility on escape, okay. And uh, there we go. This is it, I guess. So, we finally made it. Look at this. How beautiful this is. So, let's take Ankylos looks for a test. Oh my god, we finally got Ankylos looks. It's uh, taken me like uh, three battles almost to not get uh, Ankylos looks, but we got it now. So let's see. Ooh, I heard the Dominus is like the worst matchup for this guy. Like, it's literally the worst matchup. He can't distract me because I'm immune to it. He can, however, do a bit of damage to me, but he's not gonna do much. Um. Okay, I get he didn't go for that. Okay, yeah, I guess I guess he, I guess uh, the the guy that I'm uh, fighting that I'm doing the friendly battle with, he probably didn't realize that he, that I had like a like an ankylos looks. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but I have to review it. So should we so, should we swap? Should we swap out? I'm gonna swap out because yeah, he can't really do much. Again, early dom against Ankylos looks, you know. Like, the one thing with early dom is that uh, he can at least do some damage, you know. And he might also get a critical, which he got. If he was, if he went for Rampage, I don't know why he didn't. Maybe he has some connection problems or something. He could have done a lot of damage to me. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, Gorgo Trebax against this one. I can't distract him. I mean, I might as well. He might go for a rampage. So he did. Okay, big, bra big brain, big brain. We are big brain here. A uh, Dilo Rachirus actually isn't that bad as a PvP creature right now. I still have the dodge. Okay, hope they attack. He was also still distracted, so I could have just... Uh, oh my god, 4000 damage, wow. Okay. Well, I mean, what do we expect? It's Apexes against Unix, you know. Apexes should be the strongest, right? So... Yeah. Tenanto, okay. I still can... Uh, ooh. This, this is not looking good for him. This is actually not looking good for him. Like, I, I wanna... I wanna try, like I don't really wanna, I want to, re I want to review Ankylos looks, right? That's what I want to do and I, I want to use him more. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, that sucks. Anyways, so we can now go for, uh, let's go for uh, Hydro Boa. I'm pretty sure I can kill him with Hydro Boa. Uh, I actually, I, I cannot, but 
it doesn't really matter because hydro boa it's hydro boa so you know, it, it doesn't really matter if i can or cannot he also can't switch so yeah well it looks like this battle is already won by me Thank, uh, thanks to Ankylos looks. Uh, let's go to the next uh, battle. Okay, here we are. Back with Ankylos looks so right here. Ooh, Yuta Renix, okay. Another cunning. Huh, okay. Can I... Hmm, ooh, I can actually get stunned. That's actually a bit scary. I didn't realize that I can get stunned. So... It Ankylos looks might look like he's powerful, which he is really powerful, but ooh, the uh, him not having immunity to stun makes him a bit vulnerable, if you think about it, because I mean I can still kill him right here. I might as well do this. He might also go for instant charge, so you know he might stun me, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, he did stun me, but we still have the instant to shield the stun or whatever it is called. So we can stun him. There we go. Ooh. Really, Thor. Ooh, oh, this is a really good combo that I can do right here. Because I can do... I can go for this. And uh, switch into... Uh, a Refrenantum. And uh, swapping destruction will make his will make him not do any damage to me. Basically, really good combo, really good combo. Yeah, he didn't do anything. That's that's actually kind of sad. I I I should I sh I shouldn't really like I should let him like how how do I say this? I should handicap myself a bit to make him. Uh, uh, be able to do something against my team because my team is it, it is a bit stronger than his team and that's not really fair so yeah uh let's um uh, i mean i guess i you know i can just kill you so hopefully you don't mind and there we go okay well i mean that did do damage but didn't really do that much so he went for a minimal speed up strike, okay. Can I uh, go for Ankylos looks again? I can, so I have a 100% chance to stun him, not that it really matters honestly. But I do get the shield, so I guess that's good enough. Yeah, there we go. So I become invincible. Uh, no, I don't actually. I don't actually become invincible. Or did I become invincible? I shouldn't have become invincible because... That's so... Uh, a bit strange. I don't think that should happen actually. Because I'm not uh, like... Uh, I still... I still had... I had below 2100 HP. So I shouldn't be in the threatened state. Uh, so I shouldn't... Uh, where is it? Yeah, so in the threatened state you get... You only gain 50% shields. But you gain 100% chance to... Hmm. I, I think that's... That might be a bug or something. Because I don't think that should... That should happen. I don't think that should happen, honestly. That might be a bug. That might be a bug. Uh, to be honest, it might... It might actually be a bug. I'm, I'm honestly not surprised if, if it's a bug because how many there are so many bugs in this game that never get fixed and uh, yeah, I'm honestly not surprised if that's a bug. But whatever, let's just finish him. Can he even like do enough damage? No, he, he actually can't do anything. So yeah, and Kilos looks is just like if if you don't have anything that can shatter armor. Like, even if you have something that pierces armor, it's still not enough. So you definitely have to have something like a Thor. Even like a Bleeder, you know, like a Spinota Suchas. Or a, like the new Alberto Suchas. So yeah, because otherwise you're pretty much screwed. You might as well just go to the bathroom and do something else while the battle is going on. Because you're never gonna win.
Here we go, we got Ankylos Lux yet again. So, I don't know if I should start with him right now. I guess I'm gonna start with him, right? Ooh, Trichosaurus. Okay, this is a much more interesting uh, matchup that we got here. Much more interesting than the last two. So, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna do that. I wonder what he's gonna do, because... I don't think an impact will do more damage than a first strike because an impact won't be able to pierce armor and also the shield so yeah ooh got a critical ooh, look at that damage look at that damage but I also did some damage to him so it's all fair and square um I can switch into Seramangas but I don't really want to do that because that's I don't like playing like that so we're gonna go for this or the alert instant shielded strike what a long name for an ability too uh, too long honestly it should have been shorter but you know can we actually oh we cannot so we do have to use a rampage okay and he uses an invincibility doesn't really matter will it stop the swapping stunning strike however I don't think it would, it will only stop one attack, I think. I actually don't know. It does, it, it stops four attacks. Okay, so... Yeah, it does, it's, yeah, it did stop, and I actually didn't get the stun, which is amazing. But we can kill him, so, you know, might as well do that. He is gonna switch, of course. Into a Grapolite, okay. Uh, good, good one, good one. Grapolite is really... Grapolite has to be like the best counter for Ankylos looks because Grapolite has can has rending, it can uh, shatter shield, you know, he also has a shield. So, you know, it, he really is like the ultimate... Like, I, I, I guess just in general, Grapolite, it's like the ultimate, like the worst nightmare for a Brazilian creature because, you know, he can uh, uh, make you not to uh, switch anymore, he can immobilize you, he can uh, put up a shield, he can shatter shields, he can do all, the, all of that stuff, he can also heal it itself. Okay, he did go for a stun. I, I don't know because, yeah. I knew that I could stun him, however, he is really resistant, so... That really didn't help me that much. Again, I don't really... Yeah, I can't really do much against Gripolit. He's just, you know... A really good creature against any Brazilian ever. So... Should we go... Back with the... We can't really do that actually, because he's gonna kill us. He l he's literally gonna kill us. So... We're gonna save... Ankylos looks for another time. So this is the time where Mortem Rex will shine. And please don't get a stun. I can get a stun. Okay, I did not get a stun. And also I didn't get swap prevention. That's really good. Okay. Early Dominus. Ooh. Interesting. So, he can either go for Cloak. I don't think he's gonna go for Cloak. Yeah, okay. Because it's kind of risky. Especially when I can do a Rampage, will, which will definitely kill an Aridom. It's really risky going for a Cloak in this situation. Uh, so, can, should we go for a... Should we... Yeah, you know, might as well do this. I'm gonna get the shield, so... How much shield do I get here? I get a hundred percent shield. See uh, what I've, I've, I've talked about this in the second battle, but I shouldn't be getting a five, uh, a one hundred percent shield. I shouldn't be invincible because I'm threatened right now. I have less than two hundred, uh, sorry, twenty one hundred HP, and I should only get a fifty percent shield. But for whatever reason, I didn't get it, which is quite uh, strange. Uh, that's definitely that's definitely a bug. I don't know if many people know about this, but yeah, that's definitely a bug. 
and well what can we say a bug is a bug just like you know there are so many bugs in this game at this point seeing a bug like that it's nothing nothing out of the ordinary it's just the usual stuff you know i don't think that was the right call maybe he doesn't want to get the damage i guess Yeah, he also doesn't really have anything that can go to through shield, so... Mm. Can I stun him? I can definitely stun him. Might as well stun him. What, what can possibly go wrong? You know? There we go. Perfect. And I'm invincible again. Should I be invincible? Yes, okay, this time I I can be invincible. This time I can be invincible. Uh, and invincible for two turns, that's a lot. That like that's like like as I said, if you don't have anything that can go through shield or that can nullify the shield or you don't have anything with bleed uh, you're basically screwed. You you literally cannot do anything against Ankylos looks. It's impossible to do anything. Literally impossible. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's broken because, like you saw, even something like early don't manage to do a lot of damage to me, and even something like Utarenix, which you know it's a cunning, he can't go through shield or armor. He still managed to do a lot of damage. But yeah, again, if you don't have anything with shield, uh, yeah, I guess you, you can just, like, give up or something. <laughs> he probably gave up, yeah, okay, well. Well, there we go, Ankylos looks. He is definitely really strong. But if you have anything, like, even if you have, like, anything like Thor or Mortem or Gripolite, which is the best counter for looks. Uh, Ankylos looks will definitely get to, you know, will get killed by something like that. All in all, it's a really decent dinosaur. I can't wait to use it in a PvP because once I get to a level where I, where I fight against level 26 plus uh, dinosaurs, I'm definitely gonna use him. He's definitely a really powerful dinosaur. Not OP, however. It's not OP. It's powerful, but it's not OP. It's, there is a difference there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little review of Ankylos looks. I hope you guys have a great day, see you next time.